Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip Sunday, the 21st of February. Pod number 760, I want to say, without looking, something like that. Um, Toffos. Anyone remember Toffos? Yeah, those of you 80s kids will remember Toffos. They did the old original toffee flavour ones, the mint ones. And then they did an assorted roll, didn't they? Like strawberry and banana and all sorts. I, I don't know why I'm thinking of toffees. I can't for the life of me think why I'm thinking of toffees. But I just started thinking of toffees last night and then that led me down the road of toffos. That's how my mind works, see? Nice. You know, they were lovely. I like the toffo. It's the only toffees I do like. I, I was partial to some toffees last night. Um... Ruby's back to being called Daphne again. She's changed her name back last night. Especially online. Depot online. Get rid of that, Ruby. Um, right. It's old National Alpha Fowler Day today, isn't it? Dreading it. Absolutely dreading it. There's been a massive move in the market. Spur, I mean, Spurs still being backed in. Spurs have gone into 2.46 and West Ham out to 3.15. Um... I'm told it's all because we're going to see a new look Tottenham with Bale and Delhi playing. Um, I'm not really short sure, um, that that's going to be the answer. It's the other end. We need to. We can. We went and scored four at um, Toffees, funnily enough, and didn't get come away with anything. I'm not saying we won't score, but um, all the while the other end is completely incapable of any form of defence. Then. Um, I can't see us winning today, honestly. I know it's not just Spur. I mean, we've, I keep saying it. We've beat West Brom and Sheffield United um, this season, and that's it. Uh, or this um, year, since the New Year period. And um, I just can't see. I can't see what this market move is all about, other than uh, over overestimating Tottenham's chances once again. They're starting to become lay territory now. Um I got the overs. I don't know where that market's moved. I gave you that on Friday. That was a lovely price on Friday. Yeah, into 1.92 now. I gave you 204. It was on Friday when I gave you that. Um, I got Fulham up yesterday, didn't we? Got Lay West Brom. All charging if you follow the bet slip. I had a bit of a, I had a, bit of a fixed odds bloodbath myself yesterday. Um, a couple of my systems had done things they'd never done before. Um, but I had a trading paradise so it's a funny old game isn't it it is a funny old game got some goals at the right time um trade i actually made some uh, trading videos but it was just impossible i had so much going on i think i had 29 games i was involved in and um it was just impossible so i'm gonna ditch those videos and i'm gonna do it another way i've had to think about it overnight i'm gonna do like a morning summary and then do an evening results without trying to video every single trade because uh, I was running in and out of the, the machine that I was doing that on yesterday and made an absolute hash of it. Um, I'd have to jigsaw together about 40 videos as it stood and it just wouldn't make any sense. So I'll probably start and try that again next weekend now, uh, do a morning video and then an evening summary and then I can put it on the website for people and it might help just showing you literally in one market I'm trying to focus on like I've talked about with you guys and show you um, what to do um, or how a little insight into how I go about it right um, what have we got today uh, golf it's been a funny old tournament this Genesis leaderboard um, really has been a funny tournament you had uh, Sam Burns um, and Tyler McCumber race out in front. McCumber has dropped back. Sam Burns was two over yesterday when the um, play was suspended. Uh, Dustin Johnson, who just seems to be like a, a sort of relentless winning machine at the minute, is um, sitting three back. Uh, but they've got a round to finish because of the suspension owing to darkness. So Johnson, they both got five to play and Johnson's three back. Um, the player who is two back nearly finished his round, who I like, is Fitzpatrick. Um, the weather was tough yesterday. I believe it's going to be a bit better today. So Sam Burns, I think he would have continued to drop shots, but he might... Um, if the weather's a bit easier that, and having the break, that might just settle him down. But you can't obviously write Johnson out of it. Um, only three back. 
Fitzpatrick though at six. I'm just going to have a small bet with a view to trade this um, Matt Fitzpatrick at six point naught. Um, there's no one, you know, fee now five back twenty five. There's nothing in the prices for the others that I like. Um, I think it, I think the winner comes from Burns, Johnson, or Fitzpatrick, which are the top three in the betting. So I'm going to take the outsider, given the fact that he's a shot ahead of Johnson. He does play he plays difficult golf courses well. Matt Fitzpatrick um, has one uh, where Burns hasn't. Um, so Fitzpatrick to trade. I actually think they might both pass Burns as the the weight of winning a tournament dawns on him. Um, his gap's closed, as I say, from five to two. Um, but Johnson is looming ominously um, and is obviously the man to beat. Uh, but I'm going to have a small bet on Matt, Matt Fitzpatrick with a view to trade it. And he's currently priced 6.0. Um, Football-wise, um, football foosball-wise, I have for you... Um, a late first half goal at Hoffenheim. A late first half goal at Hoffenheim versus Werder Bremen. That's a five o'clock kickoff. Um, and a late goal in the Villa Leicester game. So Villa Leicester's t- the 205 Premier League kickoff. Uh, if there hasn't been a goal in the second half by 70 minutes, then drip lay the relevant goal line um, from that point on 70 through sort of 80 minutes. Aston Villa versus Leicester. Uh, so Fitzpatrick in the golf, Hoffenheim first half goal, Villa Leicester for the um, late goal. It is another busy day. I'll be, I'll, you won't hear from me. I'll, there won't be a mindset Monday, nothing. If that carpet mob paced us, I will be Arthur Fowler in, in the corner for a couple of days. Um, I think West Ham have become a backable price at that, you know, drifting out to 3.15 given their form um, I can't make head and the tail of that market it's all on all on reputation and the fact that Bale and Ali might play and all of a sudden produce something that they haven't produced for 12 months so uh, I don't know what that's based on looking at anybody placing their opinion on what happened in Wolfsburg or on Thursday you had ninth in the Premier League playing what 6th, 7th in the Austrian Bundesliga um, it was hardly top standard stuff um, yeah, and well done, uh, Everton. First win since uh, 1999. I'm off to have some toffos. Um, you got to laugh. Have a lovely Sunday. Enjoy yourselves, and I'll be back with you all tomorrow for a Mindset Monday. <laughs>